All right, so <laughs> I just saw a uh, video uh, clip from uh, Press TV, and uh, they were talking about a a law that the French uh, quote unquote government passed, basically an anti yellow vest uh, or basically you know uh, anti protest law. Uh, which also goes uh, as far as to say to uh, that if you're wearing headscarves or you're wearing masks or or you uh, or you're basically doing things to protect yourself from tear gas and rubber bullets and all that other stuff when you're out there protesting. Uh, so you could be wearing a a, a cap, uh, you know, uh, you could be wearing a hoodie. But anything can be used to say that you're hiding your face. Even though their uh, their own uh, riot uh, security forces uh, continuously do that, uh, they wear masks, they wear helmets, uh, they completely cover their face. So, uh, anyways, so this is my uh, this is my thing. Uh, the French uh, working public, and uh, and uh, I know that uh, it's been it was being reported by the uh, 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 the uh, corporate establishment uh, news that you know that it in France that it's uh, that the support for the uh, uh, gilet jaune which is uh, the uh, translates into the yeah, yellow vest uh, is uh, uh, is uh, has been going down but uh, more credible reports are saying that that's not the case if anything it's going the opposite way and I've seen enough coverage from both uh, the uh, uh, corporate establishment uh, and uh, as well as uh, international sources, as well as uh, sources, uh, you know, the independent sources in, uh, in France to know uh, that, that the uh, Yellow Vests uh, are, are very serious and... That uh, the uh, and large reason for their uh, their numbers going down is not because of uh, their uh, their uh, giving up, but uh, and not because of this so called violence that the uh, corporate uh, uh, propaganda uh, media over in France has been doing, uh, but uh, but uh, because of uh, you know weather. Uh, you know the coldness and so on and so forth, uh, but also because of uh, because of uh, of the ratcheting up of violence by the uh, security forces uh, against the uh, against the uh, protesters. <laughs> uh, so the violence is basically mostly one sided. The state is doing the violence, and the protesters are. Uh, are not so much uh, doing so. Now, of course, there are some uh, like with uh, like with what's happening in the United States, where you have agitators sent in, uh, usually by the state to uh, to make it look like the protesters are doing violence. A tactic that's used all over the world, uh, frankly, uh, by every state, uh, uh, every state government. So, but. Uh, Going back to this uh, new law that the uh, French Parliament has just passed, <coughs> and because they had it, uh, they uh, sent it to the judicial, uh, a, a judicial, uh, a, ju a judicial uh, uh, council or uh, something. Basically, they've basically cemented it. Even though they said they could go back, uh, the uh, uh, the French Parliament has basically said we can we we'll can go back and change it. But they basically uh, by sending it to the judicial review, they basically made it so that it's uh, concrete and can't be uh, uh, can't be changed. So uh, here's my take, uh, and you know I, I've seen that the uh, that. Uh, you know, uh, the Gilets Jaunes, the French uh, Yellow Vest protest, uh, was being covered a lot, but now it, it's only a few places. Press TV, uh, I have to give them uh, a credit, is that they've been 
they've been absolutely pounding away uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the protests, and they've been covering it almost nonstop. Uh, so, uh, uh, and and there's and there is reason uh, for that. Yeah, don't uh, get me wrong. There, uh, it's uh, it's not strictly for uh, uh, strictly uh, without uh, a uh, without a uh, um, a bit of propaganda to it, uh, but still uh, the coverage has been uh, has been absolutely spectacular and very objective. Uh, so, but there's a, but there are a few others who are still uh, who are still covering it. Not many, as the uh, as the crackdown by the uh, establishment uh, media in the West has been uh, has been uh, to not to cover it. Uh, and if you're going to cover it, to skew and misrepresent and. Uh, uh, mislabel and basically attack the protesters. So <laughs> this new law, I'm sorry, as I was saying, uh, this, going back to the uh, this new law I was just passed, the French government, the quote unquote French government, has just declared civil war on the uh, on the on the French public, and this was a huge mistake because the French public is roiling. And uh, I stated when I uh, I stated uh, some time back in a video that the uh, that uh, and also on comments uh, from when the uh, Fr uh, when the French Gilets Jaunes uh, protests first started to uh, pop up that uh, that uh, the French uh, with the way things are politically, socially, economically, and everything else that. The French were. Uh, this was very reminiscent of the time when, uh, when the French uh, public uh, back in, uh, way back in history, uh, uh, when they still had a, a king and everything else and nob nobility, they, uh, the French literally went uh, uh, went on a rampage and started pulling out nobles, and and, uh, and the uh, and the wealthy and started slaughtering them. And uh, so, I, I, I and uh, I, I was stating that the I was seeing, uh, I was seeing this uh, happening, and that the French uh, were starting to lose, uh, uh, were starting to uh, really get activated, and but this new law will basically make them lose all, uh, uh, make them lose all sense of. Uh, uh, any holding back, and uh, and uh, uh, because this new law also allows the uh, the uh, the security forces and the police uh, in France to basically uh, it gives uh, cop lunch uh, to go around and brutalizing uh, the French, and there's already been multiple deaths uh, there. In France, of, uh, of protesters, uh, as well as hundreds of uh, hundreds upon hundreds of uh, of uh, very uh, uh, serious wounding uh, over there. So, uh, so the French uh, elite criminals uh, better get ready because the uh, the French people are going to explode, and uh, my. My prediction and my opinion is that it's gonna there. Uh, there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, people uh, who uh, think themselves, uh, you know, because they have wealth and power that they're that they uh, are above the law and that they can basically turn, uh, basically uh, state you do as we tell you to do and shut the fuck up uh, uh, mentality over there. And I think they're going to see uh, a new French Revolution, and uh, and it's going to be just as bad as it was back then. And I think it's starting to come to head uh, in a lot of other places, uh, all across Europe. It's the, this sort of thing is going on in the United States. Uh, it's going on in Canada. It's going on 
uh, in uh, South and Central America. Uh, I know that uh, the uh, reading comments from uh, people from in Australia on uh, on videos uh, 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 that I've I've watched uh, that there is a strong uh, rumbling of dis uh, discontent, and so uh, the uh, rich uh, elite criminals. Uh, Get ready! I think it's about to. Uh, I think that cork is about to go, and there's going to be an explosion. And uh, I'm not gonna weep for you. That's for damn sure. Uh, I'm a complete anti-capitalist, and because uh, all capitalism has done, and that's been going on for thousands of years, is basically exploiting and commoditizing and enslaving and and uh, turning people, uh, turning everybody uh, into peasantry. Uh, to uh, be uh, to be uh, trotted upon in any way uh, they uh, that these elites uh, believe that uh, they're entitled to and I think that's uh, gonna come apart uh, <laughs> so there you have it